All right, so we have taken the, the tire off that has all the dry rotting. I've taken the bearings out, put the bearings in here. What ended up being the issue here, and I'm still a little bit worried about it, but the valve stem isn't long enough, so we had to put an extender on it. And down inside the wheel, you can see where the tube is. When you pump it up, it squeezes down in to the, to the wheel and it's because the hole is so big it's all crumpled up by the time it gets down here to the wheel so the valve stem i had to bend it quite a bit to get it to come over here because originally it was way too close to the side so it's coming out of the center of the tube coming up through the hole the valve extenders on it this guy's on it i'm a little bit worried about whether this cheap chinese piece of shit valve stem extender is going to leak because it, it's been leaking a little bit but we're just going to have to kind of keep our eye on that so right now we're going to go ahead and put this thing back on the airplane and finish up the the tailwheel job So the hole that goes through here, we got to turn this just a little bit to get the the nut on there. get the cutter pin back in it and that's about all she wrote no it's January I think That's all she wrote. So there's the tail wheel back on. All I gotta do is get the hubcap on it and we're done with that. So I wanted to finish this video off by explaining a couple things. So there's some guys up in uh, North, I can't remember where they're at, but they have a Lockheed and they actually use the tire that I put on the Lockheed just now. Um, one of the things that I had to do with that thing is the valve stem when when you would pump when when you would put the thing in and pump the tire up the valve stem would would be pressed up too too close to the wheel and so what I ended up having to do is I would pump it up check where it's at bend it and then I would let the air back out of it bend it and then pump it back up and check it and I had to do that four or five times to get it like I needed it You'll notice in this wheel, they actually put a piece of phenolic in there to hold the valve stem up off the wheel. But the problem with this is it doesn't line up with the hubcap. So when you put the hubcap on it, it was pretty pressed in there. So what I, since that's a brass stem, I just kept doing it. You'll also notice that this valve stem is pointed off at an angle. 
And the reason is because that tire, the tube that's in here, like I said earlier, the tube is bigger, a lot bigger than the wheel. So when you're pumping it up, the tire that was originally in here fit the wheel and would pump out to pump it up and put pressure on the tire. This one does the opposite. The tire actually fits the wheel. And then when you pump it up, it actually compresses down to the inside, the center part of the wheel. And the problem with that is that it's hard to line this valve stem up where you want it because as soon as you start pumping it up and it starts to expand in toward the, the center of the wheel, this thing tilts, it, it starts to move inside the wheel because it's, it's just not gonna sit there straight because it pushes it down on the wheel and then the valve stem itself actually touches the wheel. And, and so that's what's worrying me is that this valve stem on the original tube came out of the side and it wasn't actually on the wheel it actually just stuck through the hole this one comes out and turns at a 90 degree angle and so when you pump this tire the tube up it expands into the wheel the valve stem hits the wheel before the tube does and so the valve stems pushed up against the center of the wheel and then it comes out of here and bends out so that i could get the angle that i needed on it so i'm i'm really concerned about that that valve stem being in the position that it's in so i may end up taking that thing i'm still looking for some a better way to do this but i've i've been told that you know that the brothers that have the other lockheed they haven't had any problem with it being in here like this so i'm hopefully everything is okay but i'm gonna get them to watch this video as well and make sure that this is indeed what what they were doing so but that's kind of where we're at the the tire is is on there it's pumped up everything looks good i'm just a little bit worried about that valve stem turning and then turning 90 degrees out of the center of this and then having that brass metal up against the aluminum wheel um if it ends up making scoring marks on it or if it you know if it's okay so but that's where we're at right now and hopefully everything is going to end up being okay